Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do. Take on my phone once I can We're getting you. rained on. I'm really bored. Oh. Please don't be having me. fun. Yeah. Started as fun, no one really know. You love rainy days and you still live at home. It's cool to see. Hi everybody, welcome back to another studio vlog. This is my 21st studio vlog, which is absolutely nuts. In this vlog, I'm gonna show you a lot of weird Canadian weather because <laughs> right now it's sunny, but I swear the past three weeks, it feels like all of April basically has just been rainy and it even snowed a couple times. We got some hail, it was super weird. Anyway, you'll see that more later in the video. I'm also going to be unboxing something so exciting i'm so excited to show you but uh, a little hint it's a collaboration with a company called no issue which if you are familiar with the art small business world you probably have seen their stuff before um yeah and i'm also going to show you guys some of the stuff that i've been working on for my patreons this month yeah oh my gosh it already just got cloudy in the time that it took me to make this clip but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You're all freaking amazing. And uh, I'll see you guys at the end. It has been so dark and gloomy for over a week now and I am struggling to be motivated. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I actually love the rain but I only really like the rain when I have nothing to do. I like rainy days when I know I can take the day off and just curl up and read a book. <sighs> yeah, excuse my um, wet hair. My motivation is at an all-time low right now. I just want to play Breath of the Wild and sleep and <laughs> not work on anything. And um, yeah, I think just like the state of Ontario and Canada right now is really got me down. There's a whole bunch of things that have kind of just taken the wind out of my sails a little bit. I know I will be fine. I'm fine. But um... Yeah, I'm just in a little bit of a rut, <laughs> as I'm sure many of you guys can relate. But yeah, I'm really excited to open this box and I hope that what is inside here will help lead to my shop relaunch, which I really hope will be soon because I think having my shop open would help me feel a little bit better. Because <laughs> it's like, I'm taking all this time off and then at the end of it, it's like, I'm not even making any business income or shop income and yeah, I don't know. There's definitely a certain amount of satisfaction and reward that comes from being able to like package up an order for somebody and like take that to the post office that I just don't have right now. So yeah, 
I don't know, I'm kind of rambling, but yeah, it's really rainy and it's gloomy and I'm so tired. I'm almost done work for the day. Um, and then I think I'm gonna make some food and play some Zelda tonight. I have some drawing to do for sure, but I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna be nice to myself. And I feel like I've really struggled with being nice to myself. I've struggled a lot with giving myself breaks. And um, yeah, I wanna work on that because breaks are important. And uh, yeah, remember to take a break. <laughs> Over the past couple days I've been prepping up some of the stuff for this month's Patreon and I pretty much am all done. I need to make some more stickers because I made sure to print and cut enough but then my last sheet of them completely messed up. So these I don't know what to do with quite yet but we'll cross that bridge later. But yeah so I have all my thank you cards written and I have all my prints made and signed on the back. Here we go. So they're all set. Also, whoa, look at my nails in the light. <laughs> so I haven't picked up the camera much, but I'm back. And I'm gonna show you guys more about my No Issue stamp because I love it and I'm so excited. Hi everybody. Um, so you guys saw me unboxing my No Issue stamp and I have it here on the ink pad already because I'm gonna use it in this next clip. Um, first off, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody at No Issue for sending me this stamp. It is not a paid collaboration or anything like that, but they did send me this stamp for free. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to give this a try. And I really love what you guys stand for. I think making efforts to be more eco-conscious and eco-friendly is really important for small businesses and businesses in general and people in general. So I really like what you guys stand for and I am excited to use this to decorate my stamps so I don't have to use as many stickers or handwriting which isn't bad for the environment but it's bad for my wrist. So yeah, um, and I've talked about this in the past too, but I would hand decorate every single letter and I just really wanted it to feel so special for every person who opened it and received it. Um, and I still want that, I still really want that. But um, as I've gotten more orders and I've, as I've had more to do, um, I'm really just overworking my wrist a lot. And it's gotten to the point where I've had pinched nerves and I've had to have physio done on it and it's just not something that I continue doing like I've been doing. So <laughs> I'm excited to have this stamp to kind of take a little bit of the pressure off my wrist and yeah I'm really really excited so thank you again no issue. Let's give this bad boy a try. I did some tests earlier um but I'm excited to do it again so let's do this. Now the way that I found that this works the best, I'll change the camera angle in a second, but I'll just do one now. I found this works the best if I press it on and then I kind of like grab <laughs> the stamp. Um, I haven't seen other people doing this, so I don't know if this is just the red ink that does this. <gasps> Voila! And that's what it looks like. Okay, I'll show you guys some more from over here. So there's our first one, looking pretty snazzy. There's obviously some imperfections, but to be honest, I kind of love that about stamps. So we're just gonna roll with it. Oh, 
One thing about this is that the stamp doesn't actually seem to fit perfectly into the ink stamper. Um, I think I'll have to buy a bigger one. It kind of just hits the lip, unfortunately. So it's a little hard to get it completely coated in ink, but I make do. And then make sure it's the right way up. Line it up with the center. Drop it on and press, 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 press. This one was a little messed up. <laughs> That's still cute. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and we'll do a couple more. So I also have some of my rigid mailers that I'm gonna test it on. And I actually did some tests on these earlier and they were the ones that I found that I really needed to like grip the stamp to get a good print. I did some more tests on these mailers without gripping it and they worked out okay. So I think I can get away with just like pressing the stamp onto these ones because they're so much flatter and it's like a more smooth surface. But these ones are cardboard and I did find, oh, excuse my printer in the background. I did find that I needed to really grip the stamp on for the ink to stay. So we're gonna do some more tests on these ones. So there we have it. These are some of the tests that I've done and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I think I will need to buy a bigger ink stamp because I think that is why it, um, I'm kind of struggling sometimes. I think it's less the application and more the fact that parts of the stamp are just not covered in ink. I'm doing my best with what I got and I just wanted to say a huge thank you again to No Issue because this is absolutely lovely and I'm definitely going to be using it for a long time. And yeah, I'm excited. So thumbs up from me. I can't wait for you guys to receive orders and Patreon mail and stuff like that with these little stamps because I think that they're so cute. And I also think I probably will get some black ink um, because the red, it looks lovely on the yellow, but it is a little bit harder to see on the cardboard mailer. So I'll probably get some black ink, but I'm so happy with it. Also shout out to my patrons for helping me design this stamp. I'm really happy with what we picked and uh, I really appreciate all your guys' feedback. So thank you. There we go. I officially have enough stickers for all of my Patreon Happy Meals. So I will be packing those up this weekend and I will take them out on Monday. Here we are again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe give it a thumbs up or like, I don't know, like you could subscribe if you wanted to. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, you're a rock star. I stream on Twitch every Friday now, which has been so, so fun. I've honestly had a blast. I look forward to it every week. I have more stuff coming up on my Patreon. Today, I'm gonna to be posting a new schedule for May and yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be awesome i have something really exciting to show you guys next to do vlog as well i was going to show you guys this studio vlog but i ended up doing too much stuff and i couldn't fit it in so next week we're gonna be doing something super cool and every week we're getting closer and closer to me hopefully opening my shop soon so i know you guys have been waiting for this and i've been trying to get there but i'm reaching a whole bunch of roadblocks so hopefully um <laughs> hopefully soon hi um it's editing krista i just wanted to pop in because i've actually announced that my shop is going to be open on this coming friday so oh my hair is everywhere <laughs> friday 
May 21st at 10 a.m. EST. My shop is going to be open again, so I'm really excited. We're actually going to be having a little launch party on Twitch. So if you want to pop over to my Twitch channel, you can join in. I'm going to be doing some giveaways. It's going to be a super fun time. Oh, oh my gosh, it's finally happening. So yeah, Friday, my shop will be open. So if you're watching this, this is going to go out Monday the 17th. So this week. <laughs> so see you there. Bye. But anyway, you guys are amazing. I'll see you guys next, next week, I think. Um, and I hope you guys have a lovely morning or evening or afternoon or whatever it is, wherever you are in the world right now. And, uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye!